Hi, this is problem 16 from the AMC 12A. In the figures below, semicircles with centers at A and B with radii 2 and 1 are drawn in the interior of a semicircle of diameter JK. The two smaller semicircles are externally tangent to each other and internally tangent to the largest semicircle. Circle centered at P is drawn externally tangent to the two smaller semicircles and internally tangent to the larger semicircle. What is the radius of the circle centered at P? Okay, so we have some tangent circles here, so let's draw in our standard auxiliary lines. They're radii to the tangent points. So let's draw the connectors of the radii of these two circles, the connectors for the radii of these two circles, and we also have to draw the radii for the larger semicircle. as shown. And the radius of the circle that we seek, we'll call that big R. And we have some distances here that we can work out pretty easily. Great! We can work out the distances of the sides of this triangle. This is 2 plus R. This is 3 minus R. And this side here is 1 plus r. Great, so we have these two triangles now whose sides are all written in terms of r. So now we've got to try to figure out some way to connect up these two triangles. And there's a couple of ways to do that. We notice that these two angles are complementary, so we might be able to use a law of cosines for these two triangles. Uh, the other method that occurs to me is that we know that the area of this second triangle, we'll call this area 2, is twice the area of this first triangle, we'll call that area 1, because they share the same height and they have uh, bases in the ratios of 1 to 2. So it looks like we might be able to use Heron's formula to relate these two areas, but uh, whenever you try to pull out Heron's formula, it's good to check and see that the perimeter of the triangles are not some messy expression. So let's just do a quick check. The perimeter of this first triangle is 6. Great. Semi-perimeter of 3. The perimeter of the second triangle is also 6. Semi-perimeter of 3. So these are very convenient perimeters and semi-perimeters. So that's the green light for using Heron's formula. So let's use, the, use Heron's formula to relate the areas of these two triangles. We know that A2 is equal to 2 times A1. So A2 squared is A1 squared times 4. Now let's plug in Heron's formula. For A2 squared, the Heron's formula gives us that the semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter times minus 3 minus R times the semi-perimeter minus 1 plus r, that's 2 minus r, times the semi-perimeter minus 2, that's just 1. And for a1, that works out to 3 minus r, 1 minus r, times 2, times 4. You have a lot of cancellations. These cancel out because they share that common side. The 3 cancels out and that leaves us with 2 minus r, 8 times 1 minus r, 2 minus r, 8r, 7r, 6, r is 6 over 7. Choice B.